I'm going to show you how I made a bowl with carved handles. First, I cut this applewood log in half and then used the chainsaw to nip off the corners to make it easier to turn it first. I'll screw the faceplate into the open side of the bowl and then mount the entire thing on the lathe. Come back tomorrow to see me start roughing it into a round shape. Day two of turning a bowl with handles. We're going to start by turning on the lathe pretty slow and having the tool approach pretty gently. At this point, I'm mostly turning air, meaning the tool doesn't make a lot of contact with the wood, which can be a little jarring at times, as you can see here, but eventually I'll get it turned down to a nice round shape that it can go a little faster and shows off the beauty of the wood. Come back tomorrow to see me refine the outside of the bowl. Day three of turning the bowl with handles. We're going to pick up where we left off and continue working the outside of the bowl. I'll be carving in the curves at this point and refining their shape to be what I want them to be. And then I'll also be cutting in the handles at this point, which is just going to look like a giant ring right now, but most of that will be cut away later. Come back tomorrow to see me turn the inside of the bowl. Day four of turning the bowl with handles. We're going to start by flattening the top here, then we'll start digging in with the gouge. You can see I have the tailstock there for stability. Here's me trying to look cool to impress you. Eventually the tailstock needs to go away so I can hollow the rest out so we get a nice cavernous interior. Come back tomorrow to see me start carving the handles. Day five of turning the bowl with handles, we're going to start by cutting away most of that ring there and leave only the two spots that are going to be carved into the handles. Uh, what's left is a little bit of excess there that I'll start working away with a pretty aggressive rasp so we have a nice smooth exterior. Come back tomorrow to see me start carving the handles. Day six of turning the bowl with handles, today we're going to mark out the shape of the handles and start cutting them out. First I'll remove the inside with the coping saw and then I'll use the rasp to shape the outside. Finally I'll use a carving knife to get that final shape so it feels good in the hand. Come back tomorrow to see me do the final sanding. Day seven of turning the bowl with handles, we're gonna be doing the final sanding, which is gonna be pretty rough for this bowl to give it a rustic look. I'll also do just a little bit more shaping on the handles and some sanding to keep them smooth. Come back tomorrow to see the big reveal. Welcome to the season finale of turning a bowl with handles. Last thing to do is put on finish. I love food safe finish, so that's what this is. Really easy to apply and here it is. Handles and all. Really happy with how this turned out and I have a whole handful of ideas to expand upon this. So stay tuned for lots more cool things. Thanks for watching.